Welcome back guys, it's me Jeremy and first and foremost I want to tell you I love you. If you are getting this video, um, I hope it reaches you and resonates with you because we are in the end times and there is no question about that. I will say that with every end there is a new beginning, okay? So I'm not saying that this is the end of the world, that earth is going to blow up or be destroyed, okay? But it is being rebirthed into something new, okay? And we don't know exactly how that's going to play out. Uh, well, there's going to be a lot of events that take place. This message I want to talk about is very important because the great deception is upon us. It is it is rapidly approaching, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna offend. Unfortunately, I'm going to offend some um, religious people, uh, specifically Christians and Catholics. Okay, because your version of Christ is is what's going to deceive you. It's what's going. It's when they say even the elect will be deceived. This is what they're talking about, okay? Christ is within you. It's not some character coming from the sky um, that's going to come down and wipe out your, your enemies. Um, your God is not wrathful, okay? Jesus is not your God. Jesus was called the Son of Man, okay? Um, we are all children of God, okay? And that Christ is inside of you. Um, there is a literal alchemical process that occurs inside of you once a month known as the sacred secretion meditation. And when the moon enters your sun sign, um, this chemical reaction, um, if you allow it to uh, manifest, will rise. Uh, it will descend from the pineal and pituitary gland. It will descend down into the sacrum. If you do not have any kind of sexual release, if you are staying in a peaceful state, if you are not overeating, this is why I recommend fasting during this three days, you allow this chemical process to return, which is the ascension up the 33 vertebrae, and then it's crucified, which is really means to amplify this, this um, cerebral spinal fluid, as it's scientifically referred to the Christ oil, the Christos, um, if you allow it to return to the pineal gland where Jacob says, I met God in a land, I met God face to face in a land, and I call that land pineal. Um, this is why the, the Pope has on his staff the pine cone. This is why you see pine cone symbolism all throughout uh, religious cultures. Okay, This is why there's a huge pine cone in the center of the Vatican. Okay, So, you're going to fall into a trap if you're waiting for a physical man to return and they've given you an image and you're not supposed to give God an image and Christ is not your God, right? Christ is supposed to be the son of God, but so many people are saying that you need to accept Christ and repent right now. And remember, the devil is very deceitful and can come to you in a lot of different images. So I know a lot of people say, well, I've, he's come to me in my dreams. He's come to me in my dreams. Um, yeah, because you've been given an image to see with your physical eyes, and then you go to sleep thinking about this image, and your dreams are very powerful. The mind is extremely powerful, um, and now we have the, what I think is the AI Satan is, is, has rebuilt itself. And there are the Project Blue Beams and all these kind of things that are planned to show you exactly what you think you've been waiting for. See, it's called scripture because it's a script, guys. It's a script. Revelations is playing out right now. I'm not questioning that. I see it. I have the eyes to see. Okay? I know that they are playing it out right now. But we it's time to be honest with ourselves, guys. It's time to be honest with each other. It is it is not about some white euro looking man from the middle east with long hair coming back uh from the clouds uh to bring wrath on people okay if your god is wrathful and vengeful and jealous you're not serving the most high what kind of god is that what kind of omnipotent god needs you on your knees worshiping him or it i really think you guys have lost the truth of what God is, and that's love, and has given us all free will to come down here and make mistakes, okay? No matter how dark your mistakes are, you can be saved from that. I'm living proof. 
So I would really, really, really uh, take some time to think about your definition and your doctrine because the events that are about to take place are going to lead a lot of people to the slaughter. Okay? It's going to be very deceitful. And for those who took the thing, you better figure out a way to get that out of you now. Detox. Learn about the 40-day water fast. The temple is the most miraculous creation on this plane of existence. Okay? It was perfectly built to exist here. And it is perfectly built to heal itself. But you have put in something inside of you that could stop where you want to go. At least in this life. Okay? At least in this life. I believe that you might still have some time. But you better get on it. So you didn't trust in the Most High by doing that. And you know what I'm talking about. You didn't. You did it out of fear. You didn't trust. You trusted man over your creator. Look into detoxing now, guys, while you still have time. The things that are about to unfold are going to shatter people's paradigms. They're going to shatter their belief systems. And there are many of us here that have been trying to prepare you for this. That Christ is within you. Not up there. I'm not here to offend you. I know it's going to offend people. Because they have taken this cookie cutter, cookie cutter version of a story that was, that was fed to them. You chose to believe in someone that gave you this story at some point, And your subconscious latched onto it because it settled the fears of you exploring this world and finding out who you are and what this world is for yourself. And it led you right into just accepting jobs and paying taxes and, and being a debt slave to the beast system and, and running, into, running after all your addictions and just accepting them and continuing the cycle rather than taking responsibility for your choices and healing yourself and eliminating the bad choices. It's just the truth, guys. That's all I'm here to do is share the truth. I have chosen to accept my role with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. I am choosing to be a witness and I'm choosing to sound my trumpet. And I hope that you you find love in this message. I hope you find fruit in this message. Solomon's wisdom is the soul of man. The wisdom. The wisdom that is eternal and exists right now for you to get any truth you need. All you got to do is ask for it and be willing to accept it when it comes. Okay? Nobody's coming to save you. There is someone coming to deceive you. That much I can guarantee. Choose love, guys. Choose love, not vengeance. Because most of you... And it's not just Christians and Catholics. The three major religions, the Abrahamic religions, Christianity, Catholic, will throw it all in the same. Muslims and Jewish. Their God is all vengeful and warful and believes in a superior race one way or the other. And Christians, you, 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 you've accepted that you're not even, that you're inferior. You've accepted that you're inferior to the Jews. That you're Gentiles. What is that? Why do you think so low of yourself? Why have you allowed people to put you so far down? And, and, and you raise other people. You raise a false nation. Yeah, I said it. It's a false nation. It's just the truth, guys. I love you. I truly love you. I'm not here to attack you. I want to see you save yourself. I want to see you accept the glory that is within you, waiting to burst out, because it's there. It's there. Take care of yourselves, guys. Go ahead, leave me a comment, leave me a like, leave me a follow. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.